the hill lies. The premier is in Awasa for official visits. Kim Jong-un meet to me, Moon Jae-in at Korean border for summit. Hello to you all. This is Oromia Broadcasting Network News. With the news, I'm Thomas Kamalat. Prime Minister Dr. Abiy Ahmed has warmly welcomed by the Southern Nation Nationalities and Peoples at Hawassa Stadium. The Premier has also made the remark. Akhil Gabriel has the detail. <laughs> Prime Minister Dr. Abiy Ahmed addressed hundreds of thousands of people at Awasa Stadium. In his 15 minutes speech at the stadium, the Premier said the role of Southern nations, nationalities and the peoples in nation building is vital. <laughs> The Southern nations, nationalities, and the peoples have fought with their Ethiopian brothers in all battlefields for the unity and the sovereignty of Ethiopia. Dr. Abi remarked that peaceful coexistence and the tolerance of Southern nations, nationalities, and the peoples is a role model for the country. <laughs> The southern region has revealed that it is possible to form strong unity and solidarity in diversity, which all Ethiopians can get good lessons from it. The Premier expressed readiness of his government to expand infrastructures across the region. <laughs> The region is suffering with the imbalance of available land and the ever-increasing population. So the government would work with its maximum effort to improve the livelihood of citizens, especially users. The Premier thanked Hawassa town residents and its environs for their warm welcome. Head of Opidio Central Office, Sadani Chabebe, disclosed that efforts would be exerted to solve public grievances. The Oromia leaders' discussion, which was underway in Atadama town, has been concluded. Muktara Jasmol. Head of the Oromo People's Democratic Organization Central Office, Adani Chabebe, while making closing discourse to the participants of members' discussion, underlined that every member and the leaders at different levels must work hard to provide proper response to the public questions. She said her party should lay ground for the next success ahead through active commitment. <laughs> Much is expected from our leaders to reverse issues that cause a public grievance. We hope that the leaders have hold a proper skills that would help them to do so, she said. On the discussion, a future direction has been set to overcome the suggested problems, according to Adanich. We need to underline how this session is very critical and important to solve problems we faced in coordination, like army on struggle. She said. Some participants of the discussion said they have got a better awareness that would support them to fight against public complaints for better success hereafter. <laughs> Hereafter, three issues were the most difficult for our success. The first one is safety. Safety will disunite us. The second one is unable to fulfill public interest. And the third one is issue of lack of knowledge. Unless we would govern the three issues properly, we would still in a serious condition. Many times, the public could have been promised a lot, but the main drawback is unable to match with it. So we could believe that there was no much public satisfaction faction before. Hereafter, in my part, I'm ready to sacrifice myself to realize any public interest everywhere I walk, she said. The first international conference to realize the construction of Adwa Pan-African University has been concluded. Anwar Khalil takes up a broadcast report. An international conference for the construction of Adwa Pan-African University, which has been held in Adwa town of the Tigray Regional State, has been concluded. Issues concerning construction of the university, its administration, and financial sources for its budget among others have been discussed. The university said will be constructed at an outlay of 10 billion per. African countries, business organizations, and private organizations' support have been mentioned as sources of the budget for the would-be constructed university. Director General of 
Middle East Affairs with the Ethiopian Foreign Affairs Ministry, Ambassador Mohamed Drir had to say the following. A journey of ambition and dream to establish an African university. Of course, there are many universities in Africa, but a university among the universities which has its own unique quality. They said the university would produce capable future African leaders. The design of the Adwa Pan-African University would include symbols that represent African countries and African heroes who have fallen for the freedom of Africa. Chairperson of the Committee for the Construction of Adwa Pan-African University, Bito Balai, said construction of the university will be started this year. <laughs> Member of the committee, Dr. Mulgeta de Bebe, said the university will be organized differently, adding the future African leaders with a winning mentality and vision will be produced from this university. Assistant Professor Ishet Tamasgan is an architect who designed the Adwa Pan African University. The design of this university reflects the ancient African civilization. Every African country gets its culture on the design of this university. That way, they will recognize that this university belongs to them. Both African arts and architectures are reflected in the design. Participants of the conference vowed to work for the success of this university. This university is going to be a great center to train new scholars, research, promote Africa, history from its own perspective. African countries need to support this initiative. This is not a Adwa University. This is not Ethiopia University. At the end of the conference, the participants have visited Adwa Mountains where Ethiopians won the Italian invaders, the Aksum Obelisk, and the site where the university will be constructed. Turkish investment in Ethiopia is increasing as more companies interested to doing business in the Horn of African country, Turkish ambassador to Ethiopia Fatih Oslu said. The ambassador said Turkish foreign direct investment in Ethiopia has counted to increase, continued to increase. Ethiopia has so far attracted over 2.5 billion US dollars to total 6 billion US dollars Turkish foreign direct investment in Africa. One, the 150 companies engaged in various economic sectors have employed a total of 30,000 Ethiopians. In addition to increase the amount of the, the Turkish companies are so, also diversifying areas of investment. As the ties between the two countries is a long, a long edge that ambassador expected to more Turkish companies in Ethiopia in the years to come. Besides encouraging the companies to invest in to invest in Ethiopia, Turkey is expected to tap Ethiopia's potential in health tourism as more Ethiopia travel abroad to get medical treatment. According to the Ethiopian Investment Commission, Turkish investment has also continued to expand in amount and diversification of sector. In 2016 and 2017, also 17 Turkish projects worth over 3.3 billion have, come, have become operational. These investments are in the areas of manufacturing, of construction materials, machineries, and other equipment as well as real estate business. In a reported. You're watching Open, Voice of the People. Now news from abroad. Kim Jong-un is set to become the first North Korean leader to cross into South Korean territory since the end of the Korean War in 1953, as the final details are report are put into place to force submit. South Korean and uh, South Korean said President Moon Jae-in would personally meet Mr. Kim at the border at 9:30. On Friday, the historic talk will focus on the, North, on the North's recent indications it could be willing to give up its nuclear weapons. 
Observers say the summit could provide a breakthrough after years of tensions. Mr. Kim is said to cross the military demarcation line, a cl clearly find marker of the official land border between the two between the territories. He will, however, remain within the demilitarized zone. Seoul has warned reaching an agreement aimed at riding Pyongyang of the nuclear weapon will be difficult because North Korea's nuclear and missile technology has advanced so much since the side leaders last met more than a decade ago, BBC reported. Well, viewers, many thanks for joining us. That's all for now. Keep watching, Oben.